There's uh, some mythology uh, around uh, drones, even the word drone. There's a, there's a bit of Hollywood around this as well. Uh, and the, the purpose of um, this policy is to give us an enabler that allows us to maintain operational advantage, uh, that competitive uh, advantage that we need uh, when we deploy, regardless of what operation we're on. Uh, it's as simple as being able to see further than how you can see uh, when you're standing on the ground with uh, the means available uh, when you're standing on the ground. Um, whether it's seeing the extent of flood damage uh, or uh, where an enemy is positioning themselves to do harm to you, uh, to be able to see is of great value and gives you competitive advantage. To be able to see by day and by night in all weather also. And then uh, the strike function, the ability to strike that enemy, to strike uh, that which is going to strike you if you don't get it first, uh, also gives you an operational advantage. Uh, and that is very important. Uh, it is, uh, in my mind, all about force protection and effectiveness. It's not about the more Hollywood uh, concern that Canadians may have uh, about you know, black ops and assassinations. Uh, that's not what this policy is talking about. This policy is giving the military an enabler uh, to make certain that it can protect itself uh, in conflict arenas now and into the future. Uh, and be effective. We've uh, looked at a broad range of tools and opportunities that we have to invest in the kinds of things that are going to be necessary in the future. And yes, we have uh, talked about uh, remotely piloted vehicles uh, of many different types, and we know that's going to be part of uh, the uh, defense mix uh, moving forward for, for, for most countries, if not all countries. Uh, however, uh, whenever we take the decisions to, to use them in new or different ways, uh, there will be fulsome discussions about that.